because I'm taking tomorrow off from Facebook. And uh, it's important because, you know, that the Facebook is not the marketplace of ideas that they said it was. That, that was all a ruse to get you into it, right? And then once you're into it, you know, you're into it. And if you weren't into it in the first place, you are now. And they'll force you into it. So let me tell you a story. Welcome to another installation of King Cass Motorsports, Civil Rights, Justice, First Amendment, and Poppies. So in the fields of bodies burning, <coughs> as the war machine keeps turning, death and hatred to mankind, poisoning their brainwashed minds. Oh, Lord, yeah. Hey guys, Chris Hughes said that Facebook needs to be broken up because Mark Zuckerberg has unilateral control over speech. Isn't that amazing? Well, who is Chris Hughes, you ask? I'll tell you that. Let's take a ride in Maxine. Chris Hughes is Mark Zuckerberg's former partner. And he said that a few years back in a New York Times story, right? And it's important because I'm taking tomorrow off from Facebook. And uh, it's important because, you know, that the, Facebook is not the marketplace of ideas that they said it was. That, that was all a ruse to get you into it, right? And then once you're into it, you know, you're into it. And if you weren't into it in the first place, you are now. And they'll force you into it. So let me tell you a story. Welcome to another installation of King Cass Motorsports, Civil Rights, Justice, First Amendment, and Poppies. So, yeah, guys, uh, what happened was, back in the day, you remember MySpace and the blogs and all that? I had the blog going, and I had control over that shit, all right? I put up a post uh, yesterday about uh, the car case in New Jersey, and I explained that I've been up there with Senator Menendez and all that in his office and exposing stuff, and I could see that... Uh, a certain law firm up there, Phelan, Hellman, and Schmeig, had lied when they said, they called the security on me and said they didn't know who we were, but I could find out. I knew they, I had a tracker in my blog, and I found out that they were in my blog, so they were just fucking lying, right? That's what they do. Listen, so in other words, nobody's open. Saying... We have two gentlemen out here, okay? We don't know what the fucking problem is because nobody's answering the door. I mean, who is the complainant? Who called up and complained? Gentlemen, how are you? Fine. Good. We're trying to uh, talk to these folks here. I put in a notice of media appearance, and you know, we they gave us a key to the bathroom, and uh, we, we just asked for the attorney. Shut that off. That's got to okay. go off. Oh, what if I'm not filming you, sir? I'm not filming you now. Oh, We're okay, just trying to figure out yeah. where these people. Are. I don't. I have this is not. This is not a. I have no idea. They told us to come upstairs. I think that's what you're trying to establish. We have nothing against you. You're here to do your job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. just trying to figure out, did they call you to come here and give us a hard time? That's what we're trying to do. No, no, no. We were called here on some type of problem. But there is no so problem. We're not aware of what's going on. I, we, have we have passes, okay. With, with this right. office. And basically, I came to interview, and we, they gave us a bathroom pass. Yeah, we got okay. you know, All right, but now, now they, they want you like to leave? No, no, they haven't said they anything. Haven't they said just anything. disappeared. Let me go into All that. right. Yeah, yeah. why don't you go? Right. Find yeah. I'm going to find out what's going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, that'd, that'd be fine. And, and of course, you if they don't want to talk to us, let us give them a They say that, but yeah. And I'm not going to run a video of you guys. You're not trying to harass us. You can video you know. all you want. Yeah, I, uh, you know. no, just make you sure you get the good side. <laughs> well, that's all sides. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at this guy. And that would be Maybe we'll see. Uh, exactly. All right. right. Well, we right. did right. make notice to the uh, yeah. attorneys. Here. Right. The 300 to the one desk. That works too. Three hundred to the one desk. Now I heard that. In fact, I just want to give their key back at this point. Pretty obvious they don't want to talk to us. I mean, who knows? Next thing you know, they're going to hold us, hold them liable for the for the, for the, well, the, take, of the well, key. All right, I'm yeah. handing, I'm handing, handing the, the key. key to the to the security officer. There we are. Okay. 
right? That's what they do. These the, uh, so anyway, yeah. And so, um, but whoa, hey, but now they've turned it around on us. And like my blogs got shut down. My biggest blogs got shut down for no reason. They just disappear. And I mean, my blogs have weight, buddy. If I put you on my blog, you were um, you were gonna show up on a Google search within two days. But they changed all of that. And now they flip the table so that they can spy on us. And that's what they do with impunity. And I'm just calling it out. So Bob Dabalina, he had a problem. He drives a car just like mine. Uh, it's just not as cool, but anyway. <laughs> I love you, Bob. But anyway, uh, he uh, was saying, like, do you do drugs? And I'm like, of course I do drugs, motherfucker. I smoke weed out like a motherfucker. But, you know, it's got nothing to do with Mark Zuckerberg being an asshole or Facebook being, you know, a culturally hegemonic piece of shit. So, uh, it is what it is. You know, the thing, raise hips a locator, the thing speaks for itself. You know, um, yeah, the ways that they, you know, I got guys who post up on my page, like guys who have like 80 people, tagging 80 people over a bullshit car ad. You know, it's the same one for, it's like for a silver Honda Accord. Same fucking car, it just happened the other day. I'll post a picture in this, in, you know, in this post, all right, of that ad. I saw it yesterday. It's fine. I tag six people, I got a problem. Because they have a problem with me. And I'm certain that what they do is they find people they don't like. And it doesn't matter what kind of nigger you are to them. It, I happen to be black, I'm a Schwarzen nigger. But there's like plenty of white folks who are, you know, white niggers. You know, if they don't like your speech, I don't care if you're Republican, conservative, radical, I'll try to protect your speech against Section 230. Because Section 230 is just the devil's work. And there's a whole network of people who are just involved in it. All of the cultural hegemony that's being manifest and just, it's all just to rake the advertising money, guide us, spy on us, you know, guide us to what they want us to do is foul. And I'm not the only one that's saying it. It's, it's been said, but they don't want to keep that up there too much because you know DARPA, Facebook took the place of DARPA. They're, they don't need that no more. They got Mark Zuckerberg and his crew to spy on us, and we can't spy on the government anymore. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. And I hope you guys realize this, man. Start taking Fridays off of Facebook. It's good for your mental health. It's probably, man, have sex, man. Go ride a motorcycle. Do whatever the fuck, man. But stay away from Facebook on Fridays. It's anathema to the First Amendment. It is. You know, I don't care what you do, you can sit and stare in the dark all fucking day. But stay off of Facebook one day a week. It's got to fuck with their metrics, and they hate that shit. The only way you get to these motherfuckers is in the wallet. And I said it a long time ago. Um, it, with uh, that filmmaker, uh, I won't say his name, but his dad is FBI. He's the one who told me about all this nasty forced Hollywood sex shit. I'm not talking about the fun shit, you know, where people consent. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about abuse. All right, and I knew about it 20 some years ago, and 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 it's taken this long to come out. And even the way they're doing it now, let me tell you something: they're doing it in a way to push you into AI. All right, because all these like 40 minute shows that have four or five minutes worth of news coverage in it to tell you about Diddy this or Diddy that. Diddy is a fucking distraction, man. There are so many others. Diddy, that nigga don't have the kind of power to just be out there by himself. You understand what I'm saying here? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth, Pepper? <laughs> yeah. You know, so Diddy is important, and but he's a distraction too. Don't get lost. King Cass won't let you get lost, nigga. God damn it. <laughs> just don't get lost. Pepper, would you like to go uh, home? Oh. Should we go for a skate? She is not right now, Dad. I'm not feeling you. You just tossing me about in that car ride. I'm just not happy with you. Anyway, Pepper, I love you still. You love me? I'm your dad. Pepper. Ice grill. <laughs> All right, all right, kids, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go.